Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to compare tables. And I'll show you two different ways that you can compare tables. Sometimes you get a table or sometimes you send out a table of information to somebody and they send you back some information indicating a change and they don't tell you where it is and you are left to figure out where the change is. So for example, this table there's obviously some changes here. So like this item 3, it changed from 14 to 29. But this table here, it doesn't have any changes, right? So they're all the same. Now, when you eyeball it on this small table, it's easy. But if you get a large table, it's not very easy. So what are the ways we can do it? I'm going to show you one way using the sum product function and another way using the concatenation function. In Excel 2016 and later, it's a concat function. But previous versions use the concatenate function. So the sum product function I'll cover first because this was an idea I got from uh, Deborah, Deborah Deglesh. She has a wonderful blog called contextures.com and you can go check it out. And it uses the sum product function. It's a very neat function. It uh, takes an array and it does some other uh, things like minusing a 1 or multiplying by a negative 1. I'll show it here. The concat function, similar but it, it doesn't need to go through the steps of doing any mathematical function. So let's start with the sum product function. We want to see if it matches, right? So I'm going to type sum product, double click it to complete it. So the first array is going to be this table. And I'm going to say, does it equal this table? Uh, close parentheses. I actually need to have another parentheses here because I'm going to do a mathematical function here, which is going to be minus 1. Close parentheses. Does that equal 0? Press enter. And it says false. And that's true because it's saying that they don't match. Now I'm going to do the same thing here. Sum product. Double click. Uh, this first array here. And I forgot to have a double, another parentheses here. Does that equal the second array or the second table? Close parentheses. Minus 1. Does that equal 0? Press enter. And it's true because these tables match. And these tables, are, that sum product is false because they don't. Let's see how this is working. Bring up the formula evaluator. Go under formulas and go to the evaluate formula which is here and we'll see how that works. The first thing that it's going to do it's going to look at comparing A1 to E1, B1 to F1 and so on. Click evaluate it's going to bring back a bunch of trues and falses and it's going to evaluate those. All right. And what it's going to do is when it gets to this minus 1, it's going to perform a mathematical function on those trues and falses. Trues are 1s, zeros are false. It's going to minus 1. It's going to turn them all into either zeros or 1s. And you see you've got your bunch of zeros, and you got your minus 1 there, and you got your minus 1 there, because it's 0 minus 1 is negative 1, because that one was false. Uh, a positive, a positive, the first one was positive, which is true, which is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0, so you got the zeros there. And anywhere where you have a false statement when you're doing the comparison, you're going to have a negative one because false is a zero, minus one is negative one. So this area is going to be false, right? And it's going to look at that and see if it equals zero. And of course they do because it's going to do, do a sum product. It's going to add those all up together. There are three minus ones there. So that minus one plus minus one plus minus one is three. That does not equal zero, and that's why you get that false close. It's true here. It's doing the same thing. Since all these match each other, they're all going to be true. The ones minus a one, they're all going to be zero. And that formula, zero, all the zeros are going to equal zero plus all the zeros is going to be zero equals zero. And that's why you get a true. How do we use the concatenate function? Let's type equal concat and select my area here. Close parentheses equals concat and select that, close parentheses equals, and it's false, it's true, right? Because what concat is doing is it's basically just combining all these together and combining all that together and see if they equal each other. So let's bring up the formula evaluator, see how it's doing it. Evaluate, so it's combining everything here together 
and it's seeing if it equals to that when it combines that all together. And it's saying, if it, does it equal? Of course it doesn't, because we have some values that don't equal each other. Close. And it's going to do the same thing down here. Equals concat. Let's take this value, this or these range of values, close parentheses, equals concat. I press tab to complete that. Take these range of values, close parentheses, get rid of that underscore. Press enter, it's true. Because when it can concatenates that, it, it combines all these together, they're all going to equal each other. Now, when I get up here, I want to find out, well, how many particular items are there that don't match? Well, this sum product function can tell you that. I can do equal sum product, double click, and then the second parentheses, take this range of cells equals this range of cells, close parentheses, also minus one here, close parentheses, and now I'm going to multiply it by negative ones. Because remember, we had the sum product here that gave us all a result of negative three. So a negative three times negative one is a three, right? Because though it's telling us we have three areas where it doesn't match. One, two, three. Now we can also use the concatenate function to kind of find out because this tells us there's three areas, but it doesn't tell us where. Now if we use the concatenate function here, I can do type concatenate and just combine this. And we have concatenate those items. Just bring it down to copy it, copy that formula down. Do the same thing here, concatenate, concat, and close parentheses there, and bring that formula down. And all I need to do now is just try to match this. Does this equal, does C2 equal G2? And that's true. The first row matches. Drag the fill handle down. Now I can tell which particular rows are the ones that are different. And if you wanted to further kind of help you along to give you an idea where the falses are, because maybe your list is long, you don't want to go through and look, oh, false and false, bring in conditional formatting, go under home, conditional formatting, highlight the cells with the text that contains false. Right? So now you know which rows are the ones that are false. And there are three rows, just like the sum product here told you so. So there's our, there's your two ways that we can use to compare tables. One using the sum product function, which we have over here, and then one using the concatenate function. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.